Hey guys, and welcome back to Gold Rush, where we are uh, driving. We're driving back to the uh, the place thing. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about how we can kind of test to see if we are losing cash, and there's really not much of a way uh, to do it beyond like we can't really. There's not nothing really we can buy that's going to help us. I mean, because what I need is I need the the conveyor belt and the the conveyor belt container, which is a hundred and something, hundred and twenty. And then I'll need the <laughs> run all the way around. Then I need the dump truck, which is like what's that, a hundred and sixty. So yeah, I need a good three hundred if I want to do anything. It's like I would like that, but I can't afford that. Uh. The Glacier Creek's the other one that I would like, it's at 200. And the Reinforced Trauma, which is 100, so I, I can't afford any of the stuff. So it looks like we are kind of stuck with what we have right now, which is a little bit... Uh, a little bit less than what I was hoping for. So yay, and we can't afford to. Uh, we can't afford to pay back our loan because it's ridiculously expensive. Uh, we can't afford pretty much anything, really. All right. Yeah, I mean, I I really want to test to see whether or not the the front loader is like generating less gold, but without, like I say, without having a a dump truck, I can't do that because I can't really test the the excavator uh, um, without using the excavator in a dump truck. So. I suppose the best way that I'd be able to test it. I mean, don't get me wrong, like the, the squares that I'm excavating right now are shockingly bad. Like, really bad. So, I can kinda understand why I'm getting, like, crap results from it. But in the same breath, I'm just hoping it's not, like, extra terrible because of what I'm doing. It'd be nice to actually like send this let's play to the uh, to the developers and see maybe if they knew if there was any any possibility that I could be screwing myself over with the way that I'm digging. But I really don't know. Oh, bump. Right. Yeah, I really don't know. I really don't know how I'm going to. See that that there, what I'm just what I just done there. Actually, if we No, I think that's We've drilled both of those out. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we're, uh... There we go. Stupid death lock just wasn't on. Yeah, I feel like until we get the excavator, uh, not the excavator, the, the rest of the stuff. Uh, we won't be able to know. I hope it's not. I hope the front loader is not, like, getting screwed over by pointlessness. I still don't think 
And we need quite a quite a bit more dug into that before we can do a proper turnaround. Yeah, I I hope that there's I hope that we're not screwing ourselves over with the front loader. Because we could have just had the excavator digging and then collecting the pay dirt with the front loader. If it was going to be an issue. I still don't, like, I don't think it's, I still don't think that's enough yet to do a, a proper turnaround. Not quite. Not quite. I'll take another couple of. Oh my god, I'm just making this worse for myself right now. I'll take another couple of runs. Uh, you can do it. But yeah, I just. I hope that we're not screwing ourselves away. So what's offended studio today? Nothing really. Oh, there's still some out in my bucket. I've not I've not really got anything to, to whinge about today, to be honest with you. Um hmm, neighbor situation I guess. My uh The neighbour upstairs it seems I don't I don't know if they're not in or what, but they've had like workmen in all day. Or at least I'm hoping it's workmen because they've been like hammering and stuff like that. So, I'm guessing it's workmen, so we don't know. Might be the neighbours fucked off and there's people in cleaning it up, that would be nice. Uh, no idea though. Uh, other than that, uh, my mother's asked me to take her to the airport at 6 o'clock in the morning. Right. Oh, I'm also going to go and see um, Markiplier tomorrow. So that'll be fun. So yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, regardless of whether you like his content or not, I think that'll be interesting. Um, what else is happening? Not an awful lot. Not an awful lot. Uh, enjoying all the, the stuff that we're playing on the channel just now. Really enjoying um, Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. It's like a Mountain Blade style uh, first person shooter and it's a lot of fun so far. Uh, I'm hoping that there's some decent depth and complexity to the, the actual game because that's where Mountain Blade won. I mean, yes, like building up your your uh, army and stuff like that was great and being able to murder people was all well and good, but the where Mountain Blade, in my eyes, was awesome was the, uh, the socio-political stuff of like being able to create your own faction and like working your way up the ranks in people's armies and stuff like that. I, I would really like to see that in the game because that's, uh, as far as I know, that's not in it. Um, in Mountain Blade, you you were able to. I don't know if it's just like because I I played Mountain Blade a lot, but I also played Mountain Blade. Uh, I think it was the Floris mod. I think it was called. Um, and I played that a lot as well. So I can't remember if that was if this was like Floris or if this was Vanilla Mountain Blade, but. Um, used to be able to join uh, uh, join like another lord and be a part of his army and like go around and he would basically drag you around and you would be part of his army doing uh, different tasks for him and getting paid and that's pretty much like the, the not only in my opinion the best way to get started but the coolest way to get started as well and then like you, you leave his service and because he'll, he'll get you outfitted with like decent equipment and stuff like that and you'll be able to to get like better weaponry and things uh, without having to spend it, uh, spend spend your cash. Um, I think that might have been Floris, uh, and that was really cool. And I'd like to see that in the game. Uh, I'd like to see a lot of things in the game. Like I, uh, I spoke about it before on this series about how I love games that do multi multi genre stuff. How it's like it's a strategy game, but it's also an FPS, and it's also like a grand strategy on top of that, and that's cool. Like I like that. 
like games that games that can combine these mul multiple uh, genres, especially multiple genres that I enjoy, and if they can do it successfully, then that's uh, good by me. Alright. Now we're actually going to have to start heading to the right in this, uh, in my little hole soon. What I also don't understand is why I decided to go... Why I didn't decide to come down from here and go directly towards the good gold? Why I decided to come down in a little line and make... And want to make 90 degree turns and stuff like <laughs> that? I don't know. I don't know. Steejo brain. What can I say? Uh oh. I don't know what I just done there, but I, I think I made it wider whilst also making it shallower, which isn't great. But yeah, it seems like we're taking... It seems like we're taking a while to get our... Uh, come on. We're taking a while to get our cleanouts, and the cleanouts are also not to the greatest. So I don't know, I hope that we can get... I hope we can at least improve our um, equipment for the next cleanout, because... Right, we should be able to get our turn done before the end of this cleanout though. Because that's looking mighty fine. So yeah, that should get done before this clean out and then we should be driving haphazardly towards the the actual good gold. Because I'm getting sick of the shit gold. Something I want to see actually is uh, check a gold map. Where are we right now? Right, so what is this gold? 455, okay. 487. That gold's barely better, but it's just apparently it's got richer areas. I mean, that's a lot better. Oh, that's 200, that's 400. Why is that drilling depth only 3.8? Oh, I think that was the hole that I'd already dug into. Uh, so yeah, we've dug to there, to there, and then we're going to turn right into there, and then head to the, the good gold, and then start going. Okay. So yeah, we do need to go... to the right of where we're heading. I don't know, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm digging out this area for not at the moment. It's like I've dug out this area so that I can come down here, pick up some gold, and then reverse into it, whereas now I feel like I'm gonna have to come down here, pick up some gold to kinda sideways reverse into it. That makes sense. It would also make sense if I actually picked up some fucking dirt. I don't know, I mean, hopefully we can get that working. Why is this thing slower going forward? I don't- I, I, I don't understand. I do not understand. I decided to make it go forward because I felt like that would be far superior method of transportation, but apparently not.
Right, let's head down here. Okay, let's get you pointing up the way and turn and fine actually. My my little turn works well. And also means that we're not losing uh, stuff out of our buckets. So we're at twenty percent. I think it was roughly in the twenty minutes we got to twenty five percent on the uh, the lower end of the wash plant. So hopefully this will increase the the amount of uh, ore that we're getting, the amount of pay dirt that we're getting, in order to uh, facilitate faster cleanouts. Hopefully, anyway. We just need to make sure that our bucket's held high. We're leaving this trench with our buckets held high. Full of glorious gold. Oh yeah, they're 22% now. See, it looks like it's about 2% per, uh, per bucket. Right, let's just get Get in here, bucket held high, and turn the corner. Perfect. A little bit of mountage, but other than that, not too bad. Don't know, I feel like that's faster. I, I, f I honestly couldn't tell you, but it was something to while away the time whilst we tried to earn some gold. By six percent we're at. So we're actually wrecking what I says. So unless it was thirty percent that we were we were hitting, but I can't really tell. No. Oh. I need to let the the thing turn and then hit the right trigger. I can't just turn and go. I get miles, we're getting gold. It's the main thing. We're earning. Pulling in a profit. Got to earn those ducats. Those buckets of ducats, literally. Yeah, it'd be much better if we, uh. Much better if we were actually earning gold. Whereas right now I feel like a lot of this is just wasted effort. Because the, uh, the gold that we're picking up is shockingly bad. Okay, turn and raise and get out. Nice. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna slick being able to get out like that. And I'm glad that we done that. Yep, that was me. Oh, we do need that dump truck though. It's like everything just takes so much longer to get done. All that I would do as well is I would park it, I don't even need to make this any wider, I would park the dump truck, like I would reverse it down here and park it around here-ish, so that I was literally just, like, digging a hole and just dumping it straight in. So digging a hole, turning round like that, and then, oh shit. And then dumping it in, turning round, digging a hole, turning round, dumping it in. You feel me? Boom, boom. Right. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting there. There's definitely progress getting made, and we are slowly but surely working our way towards the better gold. Okay, turn out the hole. Sorted. Yeah, I mean, I'm liking, I'm liking our little turn. That's got me excited. Excited for the future. But, uh, oh my god, it, it does go, oh, I, I've apparently turned off the diff lock. It does go hella slow going forward. It's kind of ridiculous. But, uh, anyway guys, uh, unfortunately that's all we've got time for in this episode, so as always, thanks a lot for watching, I've been Steejo, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.